All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, and today we're going to review a knife that my eldest son gave me for Christmas, the Cold Steel Luzon Medium. Uh, there you go, Medium Luzon, the 20 NQL. Um, guys, I haven't done a lot of uh, Cold Steels on the channel, uh, but that's changing as uh, there'll be several coming up and uh, some fixed blades and a little bit of everything from Cold Steel, and that's pretty good. So um, this is the Luzon Medium. Uh, again, a budget knife, so uh, budget fans rejoice. This one's uh, right at $30 is what I'm finding it for, um, and uh, really cool-looking blade. My understanding is Lynn Thompson has an affinity for uh, Filipino martial arts, and uh, so this was sort of designed as an alternative for those that weren't legally allowed to own um, a balisong in their states, uh, which I think is a really cool alternative. Uh, you know, I'm not into balisongs, but uh, this is a cool alternative. So GFN scales and clip and HCR13 MOV blade uh, are what comprise the budget materials. Uh, it is made in China. Uh, when it's open, you can use this lock uh, to lock it open, uh, and you cannot actuate the liner lock when that happens, um, which is, you know, I think pretty cool little measure for such a large knife. Uh, not sure it's necessary, but that's okay. As far as centering, it might be off just slightly to the clip side, uh, but not so that it um, grinds or anything like that. The scales are in um, a bamboo GFN, uh, which gives it a really cool Filipino kind of style to it. Um, I use this knife in a flipper orientation. It does have thumb studs. Um, because the detent is pretty tight, which is, again, why it fires out there so well, um, the detent is tight, so it was a little hard for me to use the thumb studs, uh, but the um, flipper tab works great. Again, this blade, guys, is um, four inches long. Uh, which, you know, nice and pokey stabby, a uh, big and long blade. Uh, the overall length of the knife is nine inches, and uh, the handle uh, the handle is five inches long. Wow, there we go. Uh, so, so there you go. That's what makes it up. Um, and as far as weight, guys, it's 3.7 ounces, which for the size of it is not uh, bad at all. It's, it's probably about perfect. Uh, Weight-wise, it does have uh, liners in there. Well, you have to have a liner lock, obviously. Um, and you can see they are skeletonized quite a bit, which uh, helps out with that weight. Uh, it does have a backspacer pretty much all the way across, and it's pretty much a closed construction. Um, it does have this extra tab up here to make it look sort of daggerish, um, and doesn't really bother me because the way you would hold this knife is with a full grip, in my opinion. Um, if you want to choke up, you can kind of get over it uh, like that um, because, you know, you have that room there to do that. Uh, but for the most part, you're going to be gripping this knife uh, like this or back here. And it's not that big of a deal um, in this particular setup. So, uh, again, the screws are, are, are well done. Nothing sticking out and bugging you. The pocket clip uh, is definitely not a hot spot in any way, shape, or or form. So like I said, uh, just a really cool uh, budget option from Cold Steel. And guys, it is sharp. I will tell you, it is a um, hollow ground blade uh, with uh, nice swedging up here at the top. Just a, a beautiful looking blade. Uh, and it cuts like you would expect uh, with the, the, the heat treat that uh, Cold Steel can put on these knives. Uh, it just cuts really well. So I, you know, I think this is a super cool knife. If you were to compare it with the large, for those of you that might be interested in the large, as I said, this one's nine inches long. Uh, the large is 13 and a half. This blade is four inches long. Uh, the blade on the large is six inches long, so two inches longer. And uh, it's 3.7 ounces, and the large is 9.3 ounces. So I cannot even imagine how big that large is. Uh, I mean, I can imagine it, obviously, but uh, it's just, this is a good size for me. It's already a pretty big knife uh, for my liking. So 
Thanks guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the description. If you're not subscribed, please uh, consider doing so. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.